Huh. Who says I wasn't going to get paid to make YouTube videos? We're here. I don't normally make a intro unless I really feel like I'm going to catch fish. So I'm feeling pretty lucky. There's no one here, which is the best you can ask for. Just found a quarter, which is awesome. And uh, yeah, I have a good feeling about this one. Let's see if we can catch something down here at the South Connellsville Dam. See you down there. Tube. On tube, I'll take it. Oh, coming over here drops the temperature by about a thousand degrees. All right. Shake it smally. All right, smally number one. All right, we got something at the dam. Didn't even feel him because I'm casting up current. Eh, he's about three quarters of a pound, but I will take it. Let's get another one. I know what I want to try, and that's the Helger mite, but I am kind of afraid of losing it. I only got one left. Last one. We'll go with the side of them. They're like creek fishing adventures. This plastic is crazy. Okay. Just like that. That look like food? I think so. We're throwing this, simulating a Helgramite falling down over the falls after getting washed away. Got plenty back. Oh yeah, it is. It came out, mother. That was a decent one too. You saw me setting a hook. Another one. Do we have this one? I set the hook a lot harder. There we go. Stay pinned, buddy. Stay pinned. He's always oh, pulling drag. There we go. A little bit better. Oh, we got him. But look at that hook. I set the hook so hard. And that thing's barely in there. As he's probably a pounder. Another decent one. I think we're figuring out what we want to do here. And what we want to do is let this Helger might sit on the bottom like that. Right in that current. Is it the time of day? Or is it... What I need is a... This is just a medium. I need a medium heavy to really set that big hook in there. 
If we feel any extra weight, I'm ripping this thing to the moon. Should we try the net rig? Another one. You gotta like let it sit there, man. Where you at, bud? Oh. Hey, stay pinned. Stay pinned. Probably about the same size as the other one. He's fighting way harder though. Hook. Ah, I got him. About the same size as the other ones. Where are the big? Look at that. He's barely hooked. Another one. He's a little bit longer guy, but overall, I'd say pound. Are you guys even recording? You are. Hi. <laughs> So it seems like the only time they pick this up is if I just flip that thing sit around the bottom. Then I decide, oh, hey, let's see everything on there. And then just real. Just, I mean, I only got maybe this eight pound line on here. And it's semi weedless like that, but kind of not. This plastic's so tough, I don't want to put it inside, you know? Like a Texas rig. Cause then it, you know, it doesn't want to come out. came off they're hitting it like right well that one hit it like right here but this the way this hook is man you just can't I gotta what can I do here I don't know if they're grabbing the tail or I can't penetrate this big hook I'm about to just like let's just give this thing like a little twist see if that helps got to be something I can do. I... Sucks when you lose that many fish like that. You know it has something to do with the way it's being hooked, whether it's my line being too stretchy, my pole being too bendy, like I can't really penetrate these fish. Now I set the hook hard on this one. There we go. Oh god. He's gonna pull some drag. Ah, yes. I figured you guys out. Where are you going? They're all about the same size. He's a little beat up. Get that hook back out. This guy legit has teeth. Like, oh my God. That's crazy. That's a very pretty fish though. All right, let's set him back. Oh, there you go, bud. I don't know if that little bit of an offset of my hook made a difference or what, but. This is, this is a very hard way to fish, to be honest, because you can't feel anything. And you just lift up and they're just gone there. Basically, I'm just reeling once it comes so far down. Like I'm, I'm throwing out and I'm reeling to keep the slack in. And then when it gets down here, I kind of just watch the line and just, you know, tend to the line, keep the line in. And as soon as it stops or I feel any kind of pressure, I'm setting the hook. I think this would be better off done with braid or a much heavier type of rod. Just tend the line, just keep the line coming in. I'm trying not to affect what the Helgramite's doing. I kind of find it odd that they're all the same exact size. Different colors, but the same size. Where, where are the big ones? Well, I think that's about it. 
I think we did okay for, you know, they, they call it the dog days of summer. Like, I don't know exactly why they call it the dog days of summer. What does that mean? I don't know. But, I yeah, still managed to catch some smallies. Not the biggest, not the most, but it's something. Well, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. See you next time.